I tell you what, lads, Igor Julio leaving Fiorentina for Brighton not only highlights the pulling power of the Premier League, but also showcases just how far Brighton have come in recent years themselves. A left-sided central defender was a priority position for the club, and with Chelsea holding firm on Levi Colwell, especially after Wesley Fofana's ACL injury, this is a sound alternative, even if the lad is a bit of a downgrade on Colwell, which, in fairness to him, would be the case for the vast majority of centre-halves in world football given how talented the young Englishman is. As for Igor, he's had a slightly peculiar career trajectory in that he was a bit of a journeyman up until the last three years, a period in which he's established himself as one of Fiorentina's key players. In fact, he was a big reason they got to the Coppa Italian Europa Conference League finals last season, and it's no surprise that his side were unable to get over the line in either of those games given he wasn't in the starting lineup. For those of you who've never seen this fella in action, the first thing which stands out about him is his physicality. You'll find strikers bouncing off him like he's a fucking wall, and when you couple that with athleticism which is well beyond most blokes his size, you've got your a monster at the back. Equally, he's silky in possession and has the innate ability to wriggle his way through tight spots before playing defense splitting passes into the feet of teammates further up the pitch. In fact, his progressive carries and successful take-ons are probably the most impressive things about him from a statistical perspective, although his suspect positioning and mental lapses do let him down on occasion. Furthermore, he's piss poor in the air for someone of his stature, and that's something Deserby will have to find a way to work around if he wants Brighton to continue from where they left off last season. By all accounts, Igor's got a remarkable work ethic so I'm sure he'll become even better with good coaching. Overall, I can't say that I'm as excited about this one as some of Brighton's other incomings, but nevertheless, he's got plenty to offer and there's just something about the Amex which turns seemingly average players into world beaters. Please do let me know what you made of this video down below. Make sure to check out my Brighton playlist and I'll catch you in the next one, folks. Peace.